foundation of crap. This is the future of the back with another Bible teaching session. And this evening, our session will be speaking of, on the topic of burdens. And I want to go ahead and start off this evening's session in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for allowing us to join in together on this evening. Lord, I pray that your uh, your grace and your knowledge is provided unto me so that I can deliver this teaching on this evening, Lord. Father God, I pray that this message blesses the hearers, those who are listening on this evening, and those who may hear at a later time. May it fall upon their ears and their heart at the right time, Lord Jesus. Please guard my tongue. In the name of Jesus, I pray. And we bless you, our Heavenly Father. Amen. Amen. So, again, today's topic will be on burdens. And I want to go ahead and start off in prayer. Sorry, not in prayer, but by reading. Um, from Psalms chapter 25 and I will be reading verses 1 through 10 of Psalms chapter 25 Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Yeah, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Shew me thy ways, O Lord, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me. For thou art the God of my salvation, and thee do I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and loving kindness and thy loving kindness, for they have been over of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions, according to thy mercy. Remember thou me for goodness' sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, Therefore will he teach sinners in the way. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. So again, this evening's uh, session will be on burden. Um, so to start off, I want to speak on how God has ordained for everyone to bear a burden. Um, some burdens we can become loose from, and some are inseparable, and deliverance from them is impossible. So burdens such as our responsibilities, our physical infirmities, um, the difficulties of work, um, you know, we must bear these burdens that we have um, in our spirit. No one can carry them for us. God has ordained and made it so that we carry them. He wants us to seek Him in order to gain rest and peace. Um, you know, when we carry these things, God has not God has not given any one of us any burden that we cannot bear. And these burdens that are upon us, um, you know, without the Lord, without the Holy Spirit's guidance, they will wear us down. But the Lord wants us to seek Him, you know, for He will give us rest, He will give us peace. And He also wants our burdens to, um, you know, as we seek Him, and as we pray and as we uh, follow his commandments and do his good works here on earth, he wants to use, you know, our 
triumphs and our burdens as testimony, as glory to his name. Um, as we as we maneuver these burdens in our everyday life. So yes, uh, I know the you know the word burden can seem very scary and heavy. However, God provides His rest. God provides His peace, even as we carry these things. Because the fact that we are here on Earth, Earth has its own. Um, Earth has its own trial and tribulation in itself. And the fact that we are living here on Earth in the world, not of the world, but in the world, um, you know, the adversary is going to try and throw whatever can be thrown at us and whatever could possibly break us down. But again, as we seek the Lord, as we pray, as we be still and listen for His Word, listen for His direction, um, these burdens are not heavy on our spirit. They become lighter loads and we can maneuver with them. Um, there are loads where we can help others to carry, whether they're our loved ones, whether it may be a stranger. Um, and through that, we, you know, learn sympathy. And, uh, you know, that's having pity or having sorrow for someone else's situation or their misfortune um so there is a sense in which we can bear each other's burdens and each other's trials and each other's tribulation um you know when we pray for one another when we show up for one another and provide um you know we may, we may invite each other to church we may you know listen to someone and do our best to lighten their load, you know, help our brothers and sisters in Christ in order to carry their burdens because we cannot rely on ourselves to carry these burdens. We must rely on God and, you know, allow God to use us to help our other brothers and sisters in Christ who need assistance at, you know, certain times in their life. Because there will be a time where, you know, we may need someone and we may be the person that someone needs. And since we're not working to, since we're not living to serve ourselves and serve our flesh, we're living to please God and follow his commandments. God wants us to love one another and provide care for one another. Um, no man is beyond the reach of sympathy. You know, we can provide sympathy, we can provide um, understanding to anyone that is going through a tough time, whether it's, um, you know, no, no matter what the situation may be, if it is misfortunate to them, if it is something that, you know, kind of weighs their spirit down, we can always, no matter what position they're in, whether, whether it's just a prayer, whether it's a, um, an embrace and hug, or, you know, just maybe sitting on the phone, um, giving them or sitting, you know, and 